You know, we have to suck the cheeks. You don't have to know you ate fried plantain yesterday. Nobody has to know. <laughs> channel this is life with Tony with your girl Tony welcome back to my hey, hey, channel we need to work on that theme song you guys but welcome back if you're a returning subscriber I just want to say welcome you know what's up you know how we do it here and if you've never seen this face before my name is Tony how you doing please like share subscribe and I really hope you enjoy what you see Oh, without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial, okay? I'm going to church this morning and I just want to do my face, okay? And glam. I don't know. Let's see how the spirit leads because I don't even know what look I'm going to create. I'm wearing a, a flowery kind of top that has blue, pink, and green on it. So skincare is done. As you can see, skin looks good. I'm going to be using a primer. This is the Kiss Radiant Primer, Pro Touch Radiant Primer, Gold Primer. This is what it looks like. I'm going to be using the It's You Finishing Powder. I use it as a setting powder as well. Um, this is from Sister Cosmetics. And this is the shade Chocolate. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use the bottom of my Beauty Blender. Dab up the SS powder, right? And I'm going to dab it all over my skin. You know, just to suck out any extra oil. Alright guys, so next product I'm going to be using is the Dior Forever undercover foundation in the shade 060 i'm obsessed with this foundation this is one foundation i will always go online to order because it's so beautiful so beautiful okay i'm just gonna go ahead to dab that all over my skin so using a blending brush i'll go ahead to blend out that foundation do not forget to blend to your ear so you don't look like you have a mask on okay next i'll be using the it's you skin perfecting hd concealer and this is the shade bronze sp005 bronze i really like this concealer you guys because i i, I really try not to order concealers online because you can always find good concealers at the local beauty supply store here in dominica beauty wise so i got this from beauty wise i'm obsessed with this concealer also if you are expecting me to do this resist the urge because you see this is my big face we need more coverage whenever i actually try to do this technique that is very very much trending right now and i i still have to end up adding more concealer so what's the point why will i deceive myself so i'm packing my product eh? thank you i mean i need that coverage so what's the point of faking it hmm? you guys this concealer is so creamy like i am so in love so I'm just going to use my beauty blender. I'm going to dab that into my skin. All right. So because I need a little bit more brightness under my eyes, I would be going with the same concealer, but this time in the shade tan 004. I hope it's focusing and you guys can actually see you. But anyways, so I'm just going to put this concealer right in the inner corner. Put that right under my eyes. That's it. That's all I need really. So I just put a little bit on my forehead and the bridge of my nose. That's it for the very, very light shade. Using my beauty blender, I'll go ahead to blend that out. For my contour, I will be using Black Opal True Color Stick Foundation in the shade Ebony Brown, F17. I've used this product for like a long time. The only other product I use would be the L'Oreal Stick Foundation, Infallible Stick Foundation for my contour. Because I just feel like stick foundations actually do my contour more for me than... It gives me what I want, basically. <laughs> I feel like, guys, when I see a product that works, yeah, it's very hard for me to keep changing products, to be honest. So I'm just going to place that right above my cheekbones, like so. Alright, guys, so using a very precise brush, I just went ahead. This is actually a foundation brush, but do I use it for foundation? No. That's the thing about makeup brushes. They're very versatile. You can use them for different things. Well, there are some you cannot use for other than the reason, like eyeshadow brushes, but... This is actually a foundation work. So I went ahead to blend out my nose contour. So using this brush, I'm just going to go ahead to blend that out. Like so. You know, we have to suck the cheeks. 
You don't have to know you ate fried plantain yesterday. Nobody has to know. So I'm just going on my forehead and I'm blending out that contour. So after blending that out, going back to my foundation brush, I'm just going to go ahead and blend my entire face to prevent any kind of harsh lines or demarcation between highlights and contour, okay? So I'm just using that right between both of them to make it look seamless. I'll be using the I Bake You Happy Banana Powder from Sister Cosmetics. I'm actually going to be mixing it with the it's you finishing powder that I used earlier because I kind of like both of them together. And then using my beauty blender, you guys, I'm gonna dab into the powder. This is what it looks like. So I'm gonna dab into the powder and then dab the excess off at the back of my hands and then I'm gonna go ahead to place that in all the areas that I highlighted, okay? Look at that color, I love it. You guys, I really do not do a lot of baking anymore. I literally just dab in. So I pick up the powder, uh, I dab off the excess and I just go ahead to press it into my skin. So I'm just pressing it in and as you can see it's very close to my skin tone so there's no harsh kind of highlights going on. Alright so I'm also setting all the areas I highlighted on my face, my chin, my cupid's bow and of course my forehead as well just pressing in that powder because i don't want to have excess powder on my face so i'm just gonna use this brush to pick up some of the setting powder and i'm going to create an illusion of a reverse contour right so this is what i do i pick up the powder i dust off the excess and then i go ahead to create a reverse just like that you guys so it gives me the it gives the illusion of like a cheekbones can you guys see <laughs> You can also do it with your concealer like when you're highlighting you can highlight right under your cheekbones to help you like give you that angle but I really don't like doing that I think my powder just does it just fine because you don't want it to be too much right okay so that's it for my face skin is done next thing I'm gonna be doing will be my eyebrows I use the LA girl I use the LA Girl Feather Light Brow Pencil, that's what I use, and this is in the shade Dark Brown. So I'll be using two shades today actually, I'll be using the Dark Brown and also the Medium Brown, okay? So these are the two shades I would be using today. I got this from my local beauty supply store because like who orders brow products? Ain't nobody got time for that, but <laughs> maybe y'all do, but I don't. I don't. There's really not, nothing special about the way I do my brows. My brows need grooming. I've not had time for them. So. Alright guys, so I went ahead to do my brows off camera. If, if you want a detailed video on how I do my brows, just leave it in the comment section. Just leave it down in the comments and I would work on it, okay? I would be using this AOA Studio studio liquid concealer in the shade nude i'm just gonna be using this concealer to prime my eyelids okay so i'm just putting a good amount right there and i'll be using my finger to blend that out all right after blending that out i'll be going into my juvia's place mascara palette and uh, as you can see this palette has been used <laughs> So I'll be using the shade right here. This is the shade Fulani. This is a very brown shade. Guys, I like brown colors on my eyes. I don't know. I, I think they just complement my eyes really well. So I'm going to take that brown with a big fluffy brush. And I'm going to place that right here. And I'm also going to bring it inside like so. So I'm stamping and then I'm blending out. So stamp and then blend out so i'm putting majority of the color in the outer corner but i'm blending it inwards all right so after blending in that brown color i'll be going into my jackie aina palette this is my jackie aina palette if you've watched my channel before i took the long break i was obsessed with this palette look at this <laughs> so i'm just gonna go into this brown right here it's called credit I'm just gonna go into credit because it's like a deeper kind of brown, it's darker, more intense. And I'm just going to place that right on my crease, okay? So I'm placing credit right here. So you can see credit is way more intense. Still using my Jackie Aina palette, I'll be going into this color right here. Edges, as you can see, I'm obsessed with edges. 
and then I'm going to use it to blend right upwards right here so it's gonna act like my transitioning shade okay it's like a brownish orangey kind of color so next using the the magic mini palette by Juvia's Place I will be picking up this pinkish color right here this color right here is called Zuba so I'm gonna be picking up Zuba right here with a flat brush so, and I'm going to be placing her right on my lid so we're placing Zuba I'm not cutting my crease you guys I don't have the energy for that so I'm just placing Zuba look at that pigment look at that pigment <laughs> Going back to my Jackie Aina palette, I'll be picking this shade right here. It's called Supreme and I'm going to be going over this pink shade. But right in my inner corner, okay? So I'm picking up Supreme and I'm going to go right here with Supreme. Supreme is like a pastel kind of pink color and I just want to put that right here. So you guys, I'm just going over the brown and the pink. I'm just making sure I have a good gradient and I'm blending them out together. Okay, that's all I'm doing. And that's it for my eyeshadow actually because I do not want anything too flashy. I'm just going to brush up the, the fallouts using a blending brush. Alright, so next using this eyeliner by Sister Cosmetics. It is the ultimate defined gel eyeliner. I'm just going to go over my lid. I'm not even trying to create a wink. I'm just going over my lid with the liner. I'm just going to be applying this same eyeliner on my waterline. Alright, using a blending brush, I'll be going into this shade right here. This shade is Kogi from the Magic Mini Palette. I'm just going to be placing that under my eyes, okay? Using the same brush and going into that brown shade I used earlier, I'm going to go ahead to put that right on the outer corner. I'll go ahead to apply some mascara. I'm also going to go over my lower lash line. Going into my Nikak New York Red Glam Red Glam palette, I'll be picking up this blush right here. And I'm just going to apply that on my cheeks. Oh, I love me some blush. Applying blush has to be my favorite part of my makeup, y'all. I also try to apply a little bit on my forehead just, just to create that warmth. Okay. Next, I'll be using this bronzer from LA Colors. I got it at the local beauty supply store and I've been obsessed with it because it's very subtle but it gives you what it needs to give, right? So I'm just going to pick a little bit of that bronzer and I'm going to apply that. Okay guys, so I just went ahead to apply my lashes quickly because I am running out of time. Uh, I'm going to be setting my face using the 24 hour Ruby Kisses New York 24 hour setting spray. I'm also going to be using their matte finish spray. I like to use both of them together. I don't know why. This is a transparent um, lash glue, so the whiteness, the white, the white part will actually go away. Okay, so going back into the masquerade palette, I'll be using this white shade right here, this champagne kind of color. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that color and I'm going to pop that in my inner corner, like so. Using this NYX lip liner, I'll be lining my lips. And I'll be using this lipstick from NYX, it is the art soft matte lip cream and this is the shade montreal i'm gonna be picking up my born to glow nyx highlighting palette and i'll be using the shade right here it does not have a name but this is the shade right here i will be using so picking up that shade i'm gonna put a little bit on my cupid's bow okay more than a little bit the bridge of my nose a little bit on my brow bone and I'm also going to be putting that at the top of my cheekbone. Alright, that's it you guys. This is the finished look. I'll go ahead to dress up and I will come back to show you guys the finished look before I go to church because mama's late. I'm late. <laughs> okay. Alright you guys, this is the finished look. What do you guys think? I know it's giving face. Skin. I know, I know, I look cute. I know God says, Come as you are, but sometimes you have to put in effort, you know. Put in effort so He knows that He has been blessing you. <laughs> oh my god, I really like this look. 
I like how it came out like really cute really me um anyway you guys i'm running late please leave a comment down below like share subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend tell me what you think about this look and tell me any other look you would like me to create tell me what you would like me to create i know my time is kind of but i am very dedicated to my youtube channel so leave everything down in the comment section okay you know i got you you know i got you i look so good yo I I mean, look at somebody's nine months. Okay, you guys, I gotta go. I love you guys. You know that you don't have anything to do right now. Even if you have something to do, you know you're just gonna procrastinate. You know you ain't gonna do it. You know you ain't gonna do it, so you can as well binge and watch other videos on my channel. I love you guys, and until my next video, I will see you later. Oh my God, I'm always forgetting. Do not forget to follow me on all social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, okay? Follow me, I'm everywhere. Anyways, until my next video, I will see you later. Bye. Let me just give people some, you know, some face. <laughs>